Oh man, you know what this means. It's pepper update time. Peppers being grown using the crack key hydroponic method. Using our cheap homemade containers. Pitting three nutrients against each other in two different sized buckets. Let's go in and take a closer look and see how these plants are doing. I apologize for the noise. It's very windy today and it really amplifies it here in the greenhouse. I have the fans off to try to minimize the noise. But let's get at it. So you may have seen in our deep water culture update that when we bought these seeds from a pretty reliable source, the reviews were fantastic. Nobody complained. I had a great germination rate, but once we got past the phenotype pods, the second wave coming in, they do not look like Carolina Reapers. They are the hottest pepper I've ever eaten, but it is it does not look like a Carolina Reaper. So I apologize and I don't want anybody to think I was misleading them, but as soon as we figure out what type of pepper they are exactly, I will change the title of all the previous videos we have uploaded and go accordingly. But the one thing that everybody has said that is familiar with growing peppers, that we did a hell of a job growing them hydroponically, and they were some of the bigger plants they've ever seen in the basement. So we'll see how these do in this crack key method, and I'm really curious to see how they do with the three different nutrients. So these clones, as you know, were all taken off the same plant at the exact same time. So let's take a look at the root system on this one right here. This is in the urban hydroponics nutrient that we had a lot of luck off, of, or a lot of luck with, that we picked up off of Amazon. So let's pop this open and take a look at the root system. This is a couple weeks old, and as you can see, the roots they're starting to really pop out. I buried these buckets in the ground to try to keep the water cool, and to the touch, I guess it's between 60 and 70 degrees, and it, it's been doing fine pH we haven't checked this in about five days and it looks like it's just over six and a half so we're gonna have to put some pH down in it but for the most part everything's been doing pretty well pH wise the soul brand nutrients Aurora innovations we had a lot of problems with that in the basement and I'm checking it right now out of the camera angle but it's right about 6.5 6.6 also so I'm glad to see that so let's pick up the camera and take a look at each each plant and see how they're doing. We'll head over here, this first one right here. That's the general hydroponics stack that we we've switched over during flowering and finally got our plants to flower in the basement. It's a little small, but it's coming in. In the middle here is the Soul Innovations Aurora brand. Uh, doing okay, a lot better than what we had in the basement. It didn't kill the plant. Uh, we tried it twice in the basement and it killed killed the plants every time. So good to see that that's finally working. And then back to the one that just blows me away is that urban hydroponics. Shifting down to our little protein jug plants. This is the general hydroponic and that seems to be doing okay. And once again, here's the the Soul brand, and that thing is thriving. This actually has a really good root system on it. We'll take it off um, for this little jug. It blows me away that these are all from the same plant, but how much different they're growing. And I'm, I'm we're gonna have to chalk that up to the nutrients. And then back down, Urban Hydroponics. Looking good, about the same amount of roots as the other ones. As always, like us, subscribe, check out our other videos, and stay tuned because we have a lot of interesting systems coming up. We, we still have our build for a clone bucket that we haven't released yet, and we're gonna do an NFT system in this uh, greenhouse also, so we're really looking forward to that. Till next time, we'll talk to you later.